Alright, alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today is Friday guys, so you know that means Friday night fish fry for me. And I have some nice salmon balls right here. And I'm going to jump straight into this video and show you exactly how I get these done. Alrighty guys, so for this recipe right here, I'm going to be using some leftover baked salmon. I had this last Friday night for my Friday night fish. And I just saved the rest, put it in a food saver and put it in the freezer. And I'm going to be using an egg, some onions, and I have some of my Duke's mayonnaise. And I'm going to be using a little uh, self-rising flour to bring that all together. And then I'm going to be dredging it off inside of some cornmeal and self-rising flour mixed together. Alrighty guys, so first things first, I am just going to come in with my fork here and finish breaking my, uh, I almost say tuna, breaking my salmon up. I just want to get these mashed up as finely as possible. And then once I get this all broken down, then I'm just going to mix everything together. I'm going to try and make sure I get that egg and mayo mixed in first and then mix in the flour. Alright, so we just get all of that mixed in together. And then as I was mixing it, I could tell that it was still going to be just a little bit dry. So I came in and I added in a couple more uh, teaspoons of mayo. Now I'll have the exact measurement in the description of the video. I took my time and measured it out because I just knew someone was going to ask how much mayo or how much flour I added. So I just took myself out of just my cooking element and just really measured it out so that I could give you guys the exact measurements. But after I get all of that mixed up together, then I'm just going to add a little seasoning to this. Not much because um, I already had this salmon pre-baked and it was seasoned well. So I'm just coming out and adding a little bit of black pepper to it. And then I'm going to add a little onion powder to it and that is going to be all of the seasoning that I'm going to add to this. All right, so I'll just give that a mix, and then when I come back, I'm going to start forming my balls and get these ready to go inside of the fryer. Okay, guys, I am back, and I decided to ditch that Ziploc bag and place my flour and cornmeal inside of a dish here. I think that'll help me to better get it all floured or dust it off. So I'm just taking my little ice cream scoop, cookie scoop, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just dropping down some of these. I'm going to try and keep them as uniform as possible. All right. Then what I'm going to do is just kind of dust them inside of this. And then that's going to help me to really form them inside. I form them into balls. Just kind of roll them around in your hand like you would do a meatball. All right, now you could use breadcrumbs for this uh, to coat it with and to help hold it together. But I just wanted to try it with the cornmeal and flour first. But I actually prefer my stuff, guys, my fried seafood with just flour. I'm not really big on uh, cornmeal for my fried seafood. All right, so after we get them formed into balls like this, I'm just going to put them on my plate. And then I'm going to get the rest of them done, and then these are going to be ready to fry. I'm going to just be frying them in some vegetable oil. 
All right, so this is how they look after they get them all formed into balls, nice and dusted off. And I got my grease heating up already. And I'm just going to deep fry these off inside of some nice vegetable oil. I got my little favorite pot right here to use when I'm not deep frying in a uh, actual deep fryer. And I'm just going to get these down inside of here. Maybe about five or six of them. I'm going to do two batches. I don't want to try and get all of these inside of this pot. That's just going to make them uh, boil instead of deep frying. All right, so once I get that in, then I am going to be back and give these a look maybe in about five minutes or so. Alrighty, guys, I am back. And these are starting to get a little color to them. It's starting to get kind of golden brown. And I definitely want them to cook for a couple more minutes. And these aren't going to take long at all, guys, because that salmon was already cooked. And you're just basically trying to develop some cover, cover, color on them. <laughs> so after maybe about another three minutes or so, this is how they are looking right here. That's nice and golden brown. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this first batch out. Get them set aside. All right, and once I get these out, then I'm going to go ahead and come in, put my second batch in. And once I get all of these in, guys, then I'm going to go ahead and make me a little homemade tartar sauce. Just a little mayonnaise, sweet relish, and a little black pepper. And then I will be back once these are ready to come out. Alrighty guys, so these are done. I'm just getting the rest of these out now. Got my tartar sauce already made. So all I'm going to do is plate these up, take my thumbnails and my videos. And then I'm going to give these nice salmon balls a taste test. Alright, alright guys. I am coming in with a quick taste test. This is our nice salmon balls. That didn't sound good. This is some... <laughs> no other way to say it. <laughs> this is some salmon balls, guys. We're going to give this a quick taste test. Nice homemade tartar sauce. Yeah. Let's go in. Mm-mm. so much flavor in that. It's nice and moist. You see? Nice and tender. Mm-mm. And I can double dip. That's some good salmon balls, guys. Definitely need to try this. Mm. Alrighty. Alrighty, right, guys. This is an absolute wonderful way to use that leftover baked salmon. Just mash it up, add some eggs, onions to it. Make you some nice, good salmon balls. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. And subscribe to my page if you are new. And also follow me on Facebook and Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter, Cooking and Chilling with Kenny. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.